Hey my loves, it's me Keisha and I'm here with tonight's All T All Shade Good Girls NBC Season 2 Episode 6 review. So we start off tonight's episode with Dean at home trying to be Mr. Mom, but he is failing miserably at it. Beth is preparing to go to the dealership. She kisses the kids goodbye. And when she gets to the dealership, our boyfriend Rio is there waiting on her. He tells her that he has cars coming in from up north that he needs her to deliver one of them to him. She asks him what's in the car, but he tells her it's best she not know because it'll be good. It won't be good for anyone if she knew what was inside the car. So, you know, this ain't did nothing but pique Beth fucking interest even more. So the cars arrive and she checks the trunk to see that it's empty. So she's like, what the fuck? Um, and tries to bribe Sadie with the dog to get her to come back home and not be mad at her anymore. Uh, we find out that Stace, uh, Sadie has been staying with Nancy and doesn't know when she'll be back. Do you know that the character that plays Sadie is actually a little boy in real life? Um, so Sadie is unwilling to forgive her mother for, you know, cheating with her father and breaking Nancy's heart. Ruby and Anne are in a parking lot waiting on Beth to pull up. She does in one of the cars that Rio asks her uh, to bring him. So she gets out and she places the key on top of the front tire um, and then hops in the car with the girls. They ask her what's in the cars and she says nothing and she tore each of them apart but she didn't find anything. So then they spot Rio. He drive up, he pull up in this little fancy black car and then he gets out, grabs the key, unlocks the passenger door side the passenger door to uh passenger side door to his car and out comes his wife in real life um who is playing the character his i guess his little love interest character on the show he hugs her and he kisses her passionately on the cheek and holds her close to him then he puts her in a car that beth brought to him she kisses him on the cheek and then he skirts out child me and Beth damn near had a heart attack. Beth in the backseat trying not to slit her wrist sideways as the girl's trying to, you know, like, help her. But she just, like, drives. Drive me the fuck home. So Stan plays basketball with Agent Turner. And he asks Stan, is he married and how long? And all these questions about his wife. And Agent, Agent Turner said, it must be hard being married to a cop. And Stan, like, okay, so I'm worried about this shit. He's like, you know, I need to go on, get back in, take a shower, get back to work. He's like, no, no, stay. You know, I ain't been able to play basketball with nobody like this in a minute. So Agent Turner then asks him if his wife can cook. And he like, yeah. And Agent Turner then talk his way into coming over for dinner. And I was like, God damn it, Stan. So I love, 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 love that we get to see a black woman on television braiding her daughter's hair with some canker line braiding her. That gave me a life. But all the black girls out here, we have had our hair braided by our mama, whether it be natural or we getting extensions added in to get us some braids like I got right now. That was just so dope to see. I've never seen anything like that on NBC especially. And I just love to see Ruby and her daughter sitting down having a sweet moment talking about boys and how boys can be, how they'll fuck with your head. And I was like, instead of talking to your daughter about this, you need to talk to the Beth ass about it because Beth got the dick and don't know what to do with herself so Stan come home and tells her that Agent Turner's coming to dinner and she like you got to be fucking kidding me Stan she is freaking out and tells him to drop this lasagna off and this bread to that nigga house because he ain't coming to fuck over her and Stan like that ain't gonna work she's like nigga you better make it work you better make it work Stan Stan like alright I'm gonna drop the shit off over in this house Beth goes home to a dirty house she already said and shit because she saw Rio kissing on the cute little Dominican in real I think she like Dominican or some shit like that in real life um girl in the parking lot um I low key felt like Dean kept the house dirty on uh purpose to make her come the fuck back home like a fool she go in there and clean up the whole house bitch I wouldn't have cleaned up shit nigga you getting your ass down here and you cleaning this shit up bitch or you won't sleep tonight so Dean come down there and says that he was gonna do it and he complains about watching the kids being exhausted. She's like, yeah, nigga. That's what happens when you're in a house with three motherfucking kids every day. Oh, welcome to the goddamn club. So, um, he brings up turning off the airbag in the front seat because one of their kids is in the front. And this makes her light bulb go off her head. And so she goes back to the motherfucking dealership and checks the car. So she trying to everything to get this airbag open but it will not fucking open so then she has a genius idea to put a brick on the drive on the pedal and run it into the wall the car crashes and out comes a slew of motherfucking pills so she and the girls then take the pills to this one little one of Ann's homeboys to find out um what they are 
one of the pills is like for low cholesterol, one is for blood pressure, one of them is an antidepressant. It's just like some regular shit. It ain't like no hard drug like Oxy and no shit like that. So they're shocked that it's like nothing that a junkie would actually use. So she like, what the fuck is Rio doing? So they take the pills home and begin separating them into different compartments. Ruby ain't feeling this shit at all. Like this is just too much for Ruby old Christian heart. Beth says they deserve a cut of the money that, you know, uh, Rio go make off of this since he planting the shit in her cars. Ruby reminds her that, you know, bitch, you trying to make all these demands hold, but you was this nigga side bitch. Like, you you think you got a bigger stake in this shit than you really do. And Beth says she don't care about him um, talking to somebody else, but she can't even get the words out, sis. <laughs> it was pathetic. And at this point, I'm realizing she's doing this to boss up, but she's also doing it to get him back for hurting her because sis is in the bag. Like, she's in her bag. She's in her feelings. And I would be too behind that Latin dick. So... Beth say he's making money off our backs. We're going to take every pill from every car and bleed him dry. And Ruby say, then he going to shoot us in the fucking face. And Beth say, no, he won't. I was like, Beth, you, you real sure about this nigga? Because I feel like low-key one day he is going to shoot your ass. It might not be a, a fatal wound, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to have you walking on your pinky toe. So the next day, Beth takes Darren to work and asks one of the mechanics to show him how to open up the airbags. They get all the pills and continue to separate them into different compartments. And it's just so many pills, it's fucking crazy. Like, it's just sex on sex and sex, sex of pills. So Ann tries to get Sadie to come back home again and tries to bribe her with some gifts, all that stolen shit they got from Walmart. Say, like, where you get the money from this, sis? And Annie tried to lie and say she got it uh, with her money from her job. And Sadie, like, girl, you lying. Like, who you think I am? You lying about everything. If you want me to come home, tell me where you got the money. Annie say, um, Annie then, you know, decides that she's not going to tell her and Sadie storms off because she's mad because her mama keep on lying about shit. Ruby comes home from work to find Age Attorney, his boyfriend at the dinner table. She like, you got the motherfucking kidding me. I ain't got time for this shit. I want to soak my feet and go watch a fucking SUV. <laughs> Lord, all the SUV in this bitch. So he says that he had to say thank you in person for the lasagna she sent him. And Stan is sitting there with his legs shaking. I was like, oh, this is about to be a whole shit show. So Beth is at home during the middle of the night, still mad. She is seething. When she putting some cups in the sink and she see Rio outside sitting on her picnic, uh, uh, her picnic table. So she go outside. He come over her, come over to her with a gun in his hand. He said, where is it? Beth say, I trusted you. He said, that's your fault, child. I don't know why that made me come on myself, but... I He's so fucking disrespectful, but he the type of nigga, you don't even give a fuck about him disrespecting you. You just be like, I don't, I don't care, Ann. Just go fuck me. Shit. So, Beth say, they're my cars. And he say, my money. And Beth say, my dealership. He put the gun to her and asked her, where is it? And Beth say, not here. And Rio say, I think this game with me and you has run its course. And Beth say, well, you won't get your pills. <laughs> Beth thinks she is that bitch now. And he said, I have more coming. Beth say, not in my cars, you don't. And Rio say, where is it? Beth say, I'll tell you when you cut us in. Rio say, oh, you think you're special, huh? Beth say, you need me. Rio say, you're nothing. I don't need you. Rio say, I mean, Beth say, go buy a sketchy lot in Carson, use fake cash, staff it up with gangbangers that won't look shady at all. That won't look shady at all. How long do you think till the feds show up? They're already watching you. They just need a reason. And he's sitting there because he realized she got him by the balls. He was real like, this bitch is smart. I don't know what the fuck I thought. Beth said, you need me. So they don't need, they, you know, I'm sorry. She said, you need me so they don't find one. Real hot. He pissed the fuck off. And Dean and then the daughter come outside and real say, yep. <laughs> and walk off mad to the motherfucker. So Dean asks her upstairs in the bedroom, why him? Is it the tattoos? Is it the danger? And she turned around and said, why was it? What was it about all them hoes you fucked at the dealership, nigga? And he says he was lonely and didn't know how to uh, say it. And Beth said, well, you said something. <laughs> so Ruby uh, at the house and um, they sit down, all the grown-ups talking about racism, you know, being black people and all this type of stuff, having white friends. And then Ruby goes into the kitchen, slices up some pies. Agent Turner joins her. And he tells her it'll be worse for Stan when the kids find out that he took the pay count. I think that's what he said, something about pay count. He tells her to let him know how she wants to play this as tears 
start building up her eyes. I'm like, girl, you supposed to have your poker face on. Like, you ain't no belt. She ain't built for this shit. She ain't built like Andy Bell. I hate the black girl ain't built for this shit, but the white hoes is. So, after a talk with Darren about his super chill parents and how they just let him out here, you know, sell drugs and don't give a fuck, that put a, a, a flame up ass ass to go check Sadie. So, she pull up on Sadie at school and demand that she get in the car. Sadie like, no. And so, Ann jump out the car and tell her that she is her parent. If she tells her to do something, she needs it done. Three nights a week and every other weekend, you are mine. So, get your ass in that goddamn car now. And say, look at her like, I can't stand you, but I'm going to get in this car. <laughs> so, Ruby is stressing out as Stan decides to take the kids, take the nights off, take the night off to go take the kids to the zoo. She doesn't want to go and says that she has errands. But really, we see her fucking crying. And telling Agent Turner that she'll tell him anything she wants to know but to leave Stan out. Really, Ruby? Really, Ruby? The black girl got to be the one that dropped the motherfucking dime. Like, really, Ruby? You gonna sell out your home, girls? Really, bitch? I'm so disappointed in you, Ruby. Girl, you ain't welcome to the cookout no more. So... He said, you know, y'all good peoples, I don't even want y'all. She was like, well, what you want from me? Because she realized she ain't even being arrested. He was like, I want her. And she realized he want Beth. So now she's stuck between a rock and a hard base. Do I risk my own shit or lock up my best friend? Girl, girl, you should have went and talked to Beth, bitch. You wouldn't be in this damn position. So Beth has a meeting with our bae Rio, even though we mad at him right now because he's been treating us real wrong. He's been real mentally abusive towards us and physically. Um, at the dealership and he tells her that the cars will be um will keep coming in from up north and that all she'll have to do is get them to the appropriate party for distro he's gonna offer her 30 percent of the cut she says since her name is on the door that she wants more he says 40 beth say do you want your pharmacy back or not like beth is that bitch beth is playing hardball beth thinks that she got it and she is running with it she was like i want 50 50 50 real <laughs> Like, you crazy white bitch. You think I'm about to give you 50%? Beth say, assuming you're buying generic Canadian with your typical drug dealer markup, your profit margin should be at least five times what I make washing your fake cash. And if it's not, you're doing something wrong. He sees that um, he's turned her into a fucking beast. He love it. He's low-key afraid of what he's turned her into. And he turned on by this shit. So he tried to use his charm and shit to get her off track because it worked in the past. And he wanted to see if she's still as weak as she was. So he say, you look good behind that desk. You look so much better on top of it. And I was like, once we get this deal together, you can do what you want. So Beth say, do we have a deal or not? But she is like palpitating on the inside. He say, hmm, mm -hmm. where is it? Like his whole demeanor changed that quick. He went from seductive. <laughs> to psychopath so she say she put in the story June and he like this bitch using my tricks against me and she say oh and by the way I would have took 40% he just look at her like <laughs> alright Beth so Beth goes home to find a clean house Dean come downstairs and she tells him to take off his pants he's like for real right here right now and it looked like she still had on the same dress she had on the same dress that she fucked um, Rio in that night so she go over to the sink, <laughs> trying to relive that moment, bitch, and pull up uh, her dress and pull down her panties. And he come over and try to kiss on her as he fucking her. He all into it. She's like, I don't want all that. Just put your dick in me. Shit, just fuck me. Shit, I ain't trying to do all that extra shit. Nah, nah, gone. So he realizing at this point, damn, she don't really want me. She want him. She love that nigga. So the next day, he goes to his son's karate practice and talks to his son's coach and try to find out, you know, if he's ever killed people because he was like some type of mercenary or some shit like that. And the man just laughing like, what you talking about? But he keep on pressing the issue. So him and Dean just looking at each other like, you about to pay me to kill somebody? So I was like, oh shit, now this nigga about to have a hit put out on real, which is the dumbest thing that he could ever do. I feel like by the end of this season, Dean gonna really get um Dean gonna get killed at the end of the season. I feel like where they're going with the storyline is that at, where Beth is going to really rise up this food chain when it comes to this criminal life. I feel like she's going to her and Rio are going to end up falling in love with one another. But it's gonna be so much shit with him. It's gonna be so much shit that's gonna come along with him. I told y'all that Rio has somebody. Um. If Rio does not have a main, main chick, then what he does, he uses his charm to have women do shit for him. Um, 
but it's gonna be so much shit that comes along with him. I say by if they keep if they get renewed and they continue to get renewed, I say by season five, Rio's gonna get killed off and she's going to take his place in the organization because he's going to be able to taught her everything that she needs to know. He's going to groom her into a fucking mini-me, and they're going to have an epic-ass love story. It's going to be one for the ages. I can't wait to see how this shit goes. Tell all your family and friends to watch this show because I do not want it to get fucking canceled. I love good girls. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next week. Beth Gear to get her child snatched, child, because she thinks she fucking Tony Montana, some shit she is in over her head. I cannot believe once again that Ruby is the snitch. Like, oh God, like I'm just so mad at everybody. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.